Don't play no fucking silly games with me, bitch. That's just not my fucking thing, you feel me? Are counting me out. I love it. I love it a lot because it's just going to make me push my pen. It's going to be a long night. So that's all I'm going to say. This is going to be a long night. I appreciate y'all for holding it down over the years with me. You know, stumbles and all of that. Lackluster performances. All that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate y'all fucking with me, rocking with me. Uh, and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate y'all for fucking with me all these years. And December 9th, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm back. I'm back. It's going to be a good night. I'm feeling good. You know? No negative energy. It's positive you know, positive vibes. It's positive vibes everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Yoshi. Um, you know, for doing what she's done this year. Um, she's definitely set the ball high for herself. You know, um, she's had a, a ton of dope battles this year. Cannot lie. She's definitely done her thing. Tournaments, a lot of things she's done this year. So, we're not going to take nothing away from her, but um, we definitely going, we're going to show out. We're going to show out, but I'm going I'm to a, I'm a be, I ain't going to do the petty shit. I'm not going to do the cattiness. We're not going to go back and forth because it's a lot. It's a lot um, on phone on phone. Let me tell y'all, because true folks say I can say it. So, if y'all hear me out here on phone like, just mind your business. Mind your business. But, like I said, the girl's definitely, that girl definitely been putting in pain. This year, and kudos to Battle Rap could have broke her a thousand times, and that girl still on her knees praying. So, definitely. Um, give her a round of applause. Okay? Give it to her because she deserves it. And I'm going to keep positive vibes and I'm going to be an adult. We be the big person. We're not going to get ghetto. We're not going to do the ratchet um, promo. Because, yeah, it's really like that. It's really like that. Like, it's really like that. So, I ain't going to do the, do the ratchet stuff. I'm going to just, you know, give her a hug flowers while she here i'm gonna give her, her flowers she deserve it and i'm gonna see her december 9th in more ways than one i'm gonna see her december 9th so just know baby you gotta see me and see me okay you gonna have to see me twice you know what this is when i get off live because i'm about to get ghetto and i'm not here to get ghetto i'm here to uplift the women and keep it a positive card, no drama, none of that. Just know Farrah versus Yoshi, December 9th, volume 10. It should be volume 1 for the ladies, but whatever. Farrah versus Yoshi, y'all been wanting this. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy fucking Thanksgiving, y'all. Oh, I, there's no um, Thanksgiving food. I don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. And I went to work. So. You for me? Um, yeah, my day is great. I ain't going to make her cry. I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm here to be positive. I'm here to have a good battle. I'm here to, uh, you know, show my, not show my ass, but I'm here to turn up, you know? And I hope she's here to, you know, show up. Because this is what she wanted. Everybody wanted it. So, we I'm just here to give the people what they want. So, shout out to Yoshi. Um, for taking the battle. It's going to be an amazing night. Shout out to her for pushing her pen this year. And all her, you know, accolades and stuff like that. You definitely 
did what needed to be done for yourself this year. So shout out to that. And we gonna have a nice night. We we gonna have a we gonna have a time. This gonna be a time that night. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just know it's gonna be one of them. Hey girl, I'm taking a battle. Whatever, whatever the case may be. And I say, you know what? Let me do this shit because. Next year, there will be no Farron Yoshi because, ma'am, the way I'm finna turn up for 2023, I don't got time for the babies. You understand what I'm saying? We gonna get this shit over and done with immediately because I'm on, a, I'm on one. You understand what I'm saying? And now, you gonna get on motherfucking Twitter, Instagrams and shit, talking about people calling you ugly. Bitch, this battle rap. You need to be worried about people calling you ugly in real life. Not the people calling you ugly in battle rap. That's the problem. You've been wanting this battle for a very long time. Bitch, you've been wanting a battle outside of battle rap for a very long time. And I've been holding it down. I've been holding it down. I've been, you know, keeping it cute. People telling me not to put my hands on you. And I've been letting you rock, bitch. Listen, let me tell you something. Because you got me 10 shades of 50. Turn the fuck up. Okay, honey? And I just inboxed you. And I Instagram called you, bitch. You know what kind of motherfucking stalker you got to be to Instagram call a motherfucker? That's for the clear people. All right? That's for the clear people, ma'am. I just Instagram called you. And I inboxed you. I DM'd you, ma'am. This is crazy. And you know what? I knew something was up. And I knew you didn't want to do it when P sent me the motherfucking contract. When P sent me the motherfucking contract and it took you about a week to sign that motherfucker. Bitch, you ain't just start fighting demons. You been fighting them motherfuckers all your life. You be on, you be down there, um, for a long time. The demons is downstairs. You been, you always down there. So I don't know how you ain't been, been beat them up. You can't still be fighting the demons, ma'am. Because I don't understand. I'm trying to keep it adult. And I really don't want to go there with you. Because I'm trying to grow up. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow up. But, man, we's not finna play this runaround game. And what you're not going to do is say that... You not doing the battle, and then next week, you doing the battle, ma'am. Like, we's not doing it. Either you going to pick up the motherfucking pieces and put some makeup on so niggas stop calling you ugly, or we's not finna do this. Because what we not going to do is do back and forth, because I'm not with the shits. Understood? Understand? Do we got that? Because if you didn't want nobody to call you ugly, you should have not came outside like you did versus um, RX. Cause that look was bad. I don't know who put, who told you or put the bug in your ear to tell you to wear that jersey with that turtleneck and have your real hair out. But you need better advisement. You need a better team. You should have called Remy because clearly she the only one that be making sure you be looking good. You should have had her on your phone because if you tired of people calling you ugly, you should have not made that decision. Because that outfit was ugly. I don't think the people calling you ugly. I think the people be calling what you be wearing ugly. That's the problem. You got it mixed up. You got it mixed up. The, the doobie was given 100% density. It was given 100% density and you need to go to your hairdresser and clip those ends. Because baby, the hair is splitting up the shaft. Okay? The hair is splitting up the shaft, baby. You need to cut that off and start all over. Don't be afraid to start all over, ma'am. 
Don't be afraid to start all over because you see me, I start all over whenever a bitch needs to start over. Okay? That's the problem. You need to start over. Stop hanging on to the dead ends. They splitting up the shaft and that motherfucking side part comb over was not it, baby. Was not it. You ain't a basketball player. Why is you wearing long sleeves with a jersey? You ain't in the NBA. You not. You's not in the NBA. Who told you to put on that turtleneck with that son's jersey? And I don't even, I haven't even watched the basketball game yet, but I am sure that the Suns are not having a great year thus far. You should have left that jersey in dicks where you got. And speaking of dicks, okay, speaking of dicks, I know you went up in that store happy as hell, but all they got is motherfucking athletic gear. But that's neither here nor there. Okay, that's neither here nor there. I'm just like, no, because it doesn't make no sense. Like, you wanted this battle, and I'm not trying to play her or nothing. Like, now let me go back to being an adult because I've done enough. Um, All she needed was the tearaway pants. It would have made her job a little, you know what? Forget it. Um, Now back to being an adult, okay? Because I feel like you're allowing battle rap to tear you down and you are you are a strong black woman strong not strong strong black woman okay you're a strong black individual and i'm annoyed because i gave you your flowers yesterday to turn around this afternoon and to see that post is very disheartening because if you want to keep it 100, everybody got me losing. They really got me out here losing to you. You should be happy because at this point in time, you have done great work in battle rap, whether you were battle rapping or rapping on a mic. Either way, you have done what needed to be done in your eyes. And I just really want to have a conversation with you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you could answer your DM or whatever the case may be because I'm really not trying to be on live doing the most, you know? I wanted to come up here and remain humble and be an adult. Because being called ugly in battle rap is the last thing that you should be worried about. You understand? Like... I'm sure you've been called ugly in real life a ton of time. Either way, that should never be a reason for you to detour, de deter from battle rap. Because you love the battle rappers in bed. Okay, Alexis, you have to stop, okay? You gotta stop. Either you're gonna put Farrah in the closet or you're gonna let her talk. I mean, we can't do both. Be Okay, back to being an adult. I'm annoyed. That's all I'm saying is I'm annoyed and I feel like mental health is serious. But let me tell you something. If you having mental breakdowns every week, bitch, you got to get it together. You got to get it together. Because at this point, we are sick of it. We are the fuck sick of bitch. Let me talk. You just got to learn how to separate battle rap from real life because it's tearing you down. And mental health is serious. Okay? Mental health is serious. And I'm sorry battle rap has taken you there. And battle rap has fucked up your life and your chance at normal no, what you call that normalcy oh. okay oh. but you have to know how to say it God gives his strongest battles to his strongest no that's wrong 
I'm saying that wrong. I wouldn't even say that to you anyway because that that defeats the purpose. So let me get back to um, where I'm going. Um, bitch, we tired of you crying on social media every other week. This is like really the pot calling the kettle black because we done watched you get on social media. You done bashed the people at OTFMZ, called them all type of rainbow flag fat. I ain't even going to say the word because Instagram going to shut me down. You done called them all types of rainbow flamboyant men and told them, called them D in the booties. You done called tons of female battle rappers ugly. You done, you done tried to downplay all the females in battle rap. You don't talk about people's kids, people's daddies, people's parenting, people's everything. And you think people are supposed to have some type of sympathy for you because every time you feel like the odds is against you, you want to get on social media and cry, talk about you don't have no privacy. Bitch, when you came into Battle Rap, you allowed yourself to be a quote-unquote open book. Don't be an open book and then try to be a hard cover, bitch. You was a soft, co you was a soft cover. Okay? You was a paperback book, baby. You started this. If you wanted privacy in your life, if you wanted the privacy in your life, you should have kept your shit to a minimum. No. You wanted to be a hoe on the stroll. You wanted to be out here in these battle rap streets promoting dick sucking and all the battle rappers that you fuck. So if you want to be mad at anybody, be mad at yourself that now the people are in your motherfucking business and you don't got no motherfucking privacy. If anything is an open book, bitch, your legs are an open book. And niggas been turning the pages ever since. So if anybody should be mad, be mad at yourself, ma'am. Okay? And Dominique, I'm going to need you to step down off this um, live. Don't come for my sister. Thank you very much. Because if she was so trash, why would you be right, um, watching her battles? Now, but back to what I was talking about. I'm not wrapping my rounds to y'all. Not even at all. I'm not even touching on none of that. Because I said I was going to keep it. I was going to keep it um, adult-like with her. I'm not talking about none of this. Because this ain't shit that nobody don't know. So, pardon me. But you can't look for normalcy when you, when you came into the battle rap world being awkward. You gave the people something to talk about. And now you want to take it away? Ma'am, this is battle rap. You ain't even got to respond to her because she out of here. She out of here. Or he out of here. It's out of here regardless. It's just that easy. So you thought... You thought I was battling her... So you was on here trying to shame her? See, we don't do that. We don't do that here. But what I'm trying to say is, all in all, I'm not here. I'm not here for the antics, ma'am. I'm really not. I'm trying to keep it adult. I'm trying to keep it adult-like. And I'm trying to... I'm trying... I'm trying to promote positivity. I gave you your flowers yesterday. And I said I was proud of the work that you put in Battle Rap this year. Regardless of you having a thousand mental breakdowns. Regardless of you going through whatever you want to go through. And, and not being able to have the privacy that you, you so badly want. I didn't start this battle or the promo into this battle of being petty by by no means i started this promo about this battle being humble and giving you your flowers you understand what i'm saying so for you to 
to to get on social media the next day and start talking all this mental breakdown stuff and you crying and you carrying on ma'am honestly we are sick of it the people and what we're not going to do is play around because if you say you're not doing this battle please believe me when i tell you the battle will not happen because what you're not going to do because i have a busy life i have a very very busy life and what i'm not going to do is stop what i'm doing to entertain this drama so this is going to be my first and my last live about whatever's happening with you today. Like I said, as an adult, as a woman, I inboxed you and I even called you on Instagram to talk to you. To see what the problem is. To see if there can be a resolution or just to get you out your mental health spurt or get you out of your feelings. Because you wanted this battle for a very long time and now it's here. Your opportunity is here. You had a hell of a year. So I don't understand why you wouldn't take this battle. But maybe you need some uplifting. Maybe you need somebody to talk to. I don't know. You understand? I don't know. But I said it once and I'm going to say it again. You not you made that post. You're not doing this battle. Please do not spin the block next week talking about the battle is on. Because I'm not with the shit. I've already taken enough time. i already taken enough time out of my days to write for you. I have actual work. I have an actual job that requires a lot of my attention. You understand? So to be on social media when I could be writing or, or working on my career is a lot. So if you're talking about being a regular individual, please understand I am a regular individual outside of battle rap. I do not live off battle rap. I do not survive off battle rap. I live a real life. So the antics and the bullshit that you are trying to put on, I'm not with that. You're not going to, you're not going to, I'm not doing a battle and then come back next week and say, you know what? It was just a moment and... I'm here and I'm we not doing that because at this point there's about 14 days left 